Now some words from our editor-in-chief. Season's greetings. It is now traditional for me as editor-in-chief of Channel 8 News to extend on behalf of myself and the management of DTV8 Incorporated best wishes for a healthy, happy, and prosperous new year. We are proud of presenting newscasts that highlight most of the positive things that occur in the Barbies community and not the sensational, gruesome tales and false news seen on local media and other news media in Guyana. As a community-oriented TV station, DTV8 is committed to informing, educating, and entertaining its viewership. And we have no apologies for focusing on the work done by NGOs and the common folks in our community to bring about positive changes. As we all know, we had braved many challenges during this year, 2021. The ravaging COVID-19 pandemic, climate change, floods, oil and gas controversies, rising food prices, flood relief or no flood relief, one-off cash grants, etc., etc. So I will not dwell on those. We now live in a world where almost everyone with a cell phone considers his or herself as journalists, reporters, and news outlets abound on social media. In many cases, persons choose to post and repost news on Facebook, TikTok, and so on, without any second thoughts. Information is everywhere, some good, some bad, and some downright fake. I would like to urge all of you to be careful of the information or news you post or repost. It can be dangerous. As editor, I have noted a trend that was started in the midst of the pandemic that needs to be stopped pronto. What am I talking about? Let me clarify. Some government ministries, agencies, and even NGOs have gotten into the habit of sending invitations to our reporters for coverage of planned events like outreaches, ceremonies, and so on, through messenger, text, and even phone calls. I would like to reiterate what I have said many times over the past 28 years. We need at least 24 hours notice of such happenings. And as a matter of common courtesy and good protocol, the invitation should be sent to the editor or general manager of the station and not directly to the reporters. We reserve the right to assign which reporter we deem suitable to do so. Although reporters have their sources and grapevine through which they access real news, coverage of planned events must be requested through the proper channels. Please bear in mind that our station is privately owned and we know and adhere to all of the regulations as stipulated by the government through the GNBA, NFMU, and media monitoring units. Our newscast is aired as a community service using our own limited resources. And we will not kowtow or be coerced by anyone to cover any planned event. I should also point out that we practice self-censorship and act as a watchdog for our community. Dear viewers, please continue to practice all of the health protocols as stipulated by the Ministry of Health, PAHO, and WHO to protect yourselves and others against the dreaded COVID-19. Once again, let me thank you, our ardent viewers, our news team, and all others who support our newscasts in various ways. A healthy, happy, and prosperous new year to all.